Hi, it's Amélie. Today we're going to talk about how to crack less notes. I will start by saying that support is a very big part of that. If you don't support enough, there will be more instance of cracking. So um, very often I hear people cracking the first note. Uh, what I have to say is that uh, sometimes we tend to think that the tongue Tonguing is about um, bringing the tongue forward, but in fact, it's about releasing the tongue. So what you can do is place your tongue and have the air already prepared and just release the tongue and let the air come out once you're ready to start. So let's say if I start on a soft B. So everything was ready and I had my mask ready. So when I talk about the mask, I'm talking about the lip position being um, not tight, but just firm, you know, and it doesn't have to move here. And the more you move, the more chances of cracking notes. So let's say you have uh, someone who tongues and moves a lot as if they were eating something in between each note, you know, so and some people move a lot here each note that they tongue they go and there's way more risk of losing your sound because your sound if you want it centered it's very simple just send the air in one spot usually playing the flute well is simpler than we think sometimes we tend to over complicate things so it's really about finding that sweet spot you know and just staying there and keeping the mask you have the support you have that and you don't go and move too much and you shouldn't crack. And also when you have a little bit of time between two notes. So I'm going to just play one high D and repeat it and breathe in between. I'll give you two ways of doing it. So sometimes I see people that open their mouth a lot when they breathe like this. You know, there's way more risk of cracking when you do that. Because again, you're changing your position so you can also just breathe like this. You don't need to open that much to breathe. So you can go. And there's way less movement. So I tend to say to my students, it's a bit like in the Karate Kid. You know, you have um, the young kids, they move a lot. And then Mr. Miyagi, he gets there and he barely moves, but they all end up beaten you know so um sometimes the you know less is more so you don't need to do all those gesture and doing less will give you more energy for what you really need which is support so less energy on your face and more energy in the belly pushing the air out i'll say a word about support so support is about how you push the air out with the same intensity so um, you use the muscles around your belly, but personally, I really like using these ones here. So you have your rib cage here that comes together and just there. Um, you know, if you get punched there, it really hurts. <laughs> it's that spot. So you go, and if you do the sound, you'll feel it. Put your hand on your belly and go, and you'll feel those muscles getting out, going outwards. And those muscles are very good to support but of course you can breathe in 3d and also support in 3d with even the muscles between the the ribs like bringing it back like this you know have the and then because it's about controlling that air speed because that's what's gonna give your sound the air makes the sound and then you don't want to have any disturbance here with your tongue and your mouth so the tongue has to release it's not about when you put it there it's about when you release it that's when you get the sound that's when the air comes back and you get a ta ta to summarize you need a good position a good mouth position and a like a mask something that stays still and when you breathe you don't have to move it and when you tongue you don't have to move it either look at yourself in the mirror to make sure that it's pretty stable there then um, use the support of the air, use air support to make sure your sound is very steady. 
And then the other thing is, remember that when you tongue, it's about release. It's not about when the tongue hits, it's about when it releases. And that will help a lot with your sound and not cracking notes. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you have a comment, please leave it down below and see you next time.